Hello, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through addition and subtraction of polynomials. Polynomials are expressions with ascending or descending power of variables. And each polynomial has degree. Degree is the highest power of variable in a polynomial expression. Now take a look at it. This is a polynomial. It's an expression. Expression means there's no equality sign here. It's just expressed here. And these are variables. S, S, 3, 7, and 8 are constants. Now, the power of variables. The power of this S is 2. The power of this S is 1. Why there is S here, but the power is 0. Take a look at this polynomial expression. You see the variable here. The variable with the highest power is 4. S to the power of 4. So that means the degree of this polynomial is 4 degrees 4. Look at this, the highest power of variable here is 3. So this is of degree 3 and like that. So when you check the S or some can carry Y, you can see a polynomial like 4 Y to the power of 3 minus 5 S square plus, sorry, minus 5 Y square plus 4 Y minus 5. It can even be 4 W to the power of 3 minus 5 w square plus 4w minus 5. So these are variables. So long it has variables with ascending or descending power. It's a polynomial. Now, how do we add polynomials? Adding of polynomials is the same technique you already know. It follows the same addition techniques. And subtraction of polynomials also follows the same subtraction techniques. But in polynomials, you add or subtract uh, values with the same degree. Just like in mathematics. You can say 7s squared plus 3s squared is correct. However, you cannot say 7s squared plus 7s. They are not of the same degrees. So you won't really be able to manage it that way. So add the polynomials, add the ones with the same degree. Subtracting subtract polynomials with the same degree. So let's answer this question. The first question says 3s squared minus 7s plus 8 and add so plus 7s squared plus 4s minus 5. So now Addition is plus. Why are they take note of the signs? Be very conscious of this. Look at this. Here is plus 8. You can say plus 8. Now, what operation are we do is addition. Plus. Then here is minus 5. Minus 5. So we are adding this and this. Addition. If you don't do it this way, either in your mind or somewhere else in the rough notes, you will make mistakes. You can just say 8 plus 5. Especially in, or in addition, or in subtraction especially, the mistake is common in subtraction. Some persons will just say 8 minus 5. However, this is minus 5, this is 8. Subtraction is there. Now, we have this. So, plus 8. The plus sign is minus, it's minus. So, here is minus 5. So, this is 8 minus 5 is equals 3. So, we have 3 here, plus 3. Minus 7s plus plus 4s minus 7s plus plus 4s. This is sitting as minus 7s plus times plus is plus 4s. So minus 7s plus 4s is simply minus 3s. We are owing somebody 7, you have 4, you failed, you still be owing, so it's still minus. So here is minus 3s. Take note of this mathematical operation. This key is very important. It will help you avoid errors. Then we are here. So 3s squared plus plus 7s squared. This will give you 10s squared. And take note of take note of adding and uh, multiplying. If I say s squared plus s squared, it is simply uh, 2s square. That is that. But if I say 
S square times S square, it is S raised to the power of 4. So you can check my indices videos. I explained all this in that video. So let's see the second question. The second question says to so this. So we're adding these two. Now take a look at something. In this one, the degree is 3. But this one is of degree 4. So we have to arrange them according to their degree. So that means arranging here, we start from this degree 3 to have... 4s to the power of 3 minus 5s square plus 4s minus 5. So you have this plus 2, then minus 5s plus plus 4s minus 5s plus times plus is plus 4s. So minus 5s plus 4s will give you minus s or minus 1s so this is minus s you see so we are answering it as if we are solving one one this is to avoid mistakes the next 2s square plus minus 5s square this is the same as 2s square plus times minus is minus minus 5s square so this will give you minus 3s square so minus 3 S square. The minus 9 plus 4s cube. So this will give you minus 5s to the power of 3. Then this one, here it is the same thing as 0s to the power of 4. So 5s to the power of 4 minus 0s to the power of 4 is 5s to the power of 4. So we'll take a look at this. While we proceed okay let's see question three it says subtract this from this so they are trying to tell us that this is bigger so we are removing this one from this so therefore we have a uh, 9s to the power of 4 plus 5s to the power of 3 plus 7s square minus 2s plus 5 so subtracting minus and look at this the degree of this is degree 4 also so we can start from here so here we have 3s raised to the power of 4 minus 3s square if you notice in this question it doesn't have raised to the power of 3 no degree 3 therefore we assume is 0 0s raised to the power of 3 so it has to be there we need to arrange it in ascending or descending power of variables so 0s raised to the power of 3 is the same thing as 0 so that one is there so minus 3s square plus 3s minus 2 so this is this and we are subtracting so 5 minus minus 2, 5 is minus we are doing, but this one is already minus 2, minus 2. So we now have 5 minus times minus is plus, so 5 plus 2 is equals 7. So if you don't know these uh, basic operations, you just say 5 minus 2 and get 3. So you need to understand, minus times minus, plus times plus. I, this, I have a video on the... Uh, Introduction to Mathematics, Mathematics Basis for Parents and Students. In that video, I gave the basis of mathematics. So that video will really build your background. You need to know all those operations. You can search that video also at Flashlight as well on YouTube. Minus 2s, minus plus 3s. This will give you minus 2s, plus times minus is minus. So this is equals minus 5s. So here is minus. So minus 5s plus 7. So here is 7s squared minus 3 minus minus 3s squared. So this will give you plus 10s squared. 5s cubed minus 0s cubed is 5s cubed. So um, 9s 
raised to the power of 4 minus 3x raised to the power of 4 will give you 6. So that's the answer we've subtracted. So let's see the last question. Question 4 says, from the sum of this and this, subtract this. So this is simply telling us to add and subtract. So this question is combining addition and subtraction. It's saying add these two, then you subtract this. So looking at this, what is the degree? So this is actually degree 4. It's what I was telling you. The degree here is 4. The highest power variable is 4. But it's not arranged. So we need to arrange this to a standard form before we start solving. So to arrange this, it's simply with degree 4. 8s is power 4. And then let's do for 3. So there is no raised to power of 3. So we assume 0 plus 0s zero is the power of 3. Plus 6s square minus 5s plus 2. So we've rearranged this expression in descending power of variables. So that is standard of polynomials. Therefore, and so this is degree 4 and it's already arranged. So this is 2 s is power 4 minus 3 s is power 3 plus 2 s square plus s minus 1 and the operation is addition so we are adding these two and subtracting the third one so let's add first so uh, 2 plus minus 1 is actually 2 minus 1 which is 1 plus 1 Minus 5s plus s is minus 4s. 6s squared plus, plus 2s squared is plus 8s squared. 0s is power 3 plus minus 3s is power 3 is minus 3s is power 3. 8s is power 4 minus sorry 8s is power 4 plus 2s raised to the power 4 will give you 10s is power 4. So we are adding, we are adding, we are adding. So this plus this is this, this plus this is that. Now that we've added, we are asked to subtract this guy from the sum. So you will now come and say minus. 5s to the power of 4 minus 4s to the power of 3 minus s square plus 2s plus 3. So we are now subtracting. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So minus 4s minus plus 2s is minus 6s. So if you notice, I'm beginning to be a little bit faster because I've emphasized the sign and what to do in the previous examples. So by now you should be following very fast or start the video again. 8 minus minus s is a 9s square. So 8 minus 8s square minus minus s square is this. Minus 3 minus minus 4s will give you s raised to the power 3. Then 10s raised to the power 4 minus 5s raised to the power 4 is 5s raised to the power 4. So that is the answer. And that is it on addition and subtraction of polynomials. So we are giving polynomial expressions to add or subtract. So this is how you go about it. And for theory exams, you explain your steps like adding, subtracting, doing this, so all those adds to your mark for theory exams. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos.